creator of the heavens, who led the Magi by a star to worship the Christ child. Guide and sustain us that we may find our journey's end in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hello and Happy New Year everyone. This is our craft for this week and to help me I have the three wise men from our Stop Animation Nativity. We're thinking about the wise men coming to visit Jesus in our service this week. What we're going to be making is a star, remembering that the wise men followed a star to find Jesus. So we're going to make something that looks like this. And I will show you how. So for this craft you're going to need some card. I've got a book of coloured card, but any piece of card will do, even a cereal box. You need something round to draw around. A ruler. A pencil. Some scissors. A little bit of sellotape. And some wool. I've got some crazy coloured rainbow wool, but as you can see. Just plain white wool looks quite good. So what we've got to do is draw around our circle. And we're going to cut it out. The next thing we need to do is divide our circle up. So the easiest way to do it is to get a ruler and just roughly we want to cut our circle in half with a line. If you wanted to be precise about it you could fold it in half or you can to get the line but that makes it a bit difficult in a minute. So the easiest thing is just by eye just to draw a line across the middle roughly where you think the middle is and then we're going to cut it across the other way into quarters. And for our weaving for this star we need 12 um, little marks around the edge all together. So we're going to divide each of these quarters, we're going to put two little marks evenly and again just doing it by eye is absolutely fine. Then you need your scissors. Very carefully we're going to cut in just short little cuts about the length of this pencil line, probably about three or four millimetres at all of these different points all the way around the circle. Now comes the really clever part where we're going to make a star shape just appear by winding wool around the card. So you're going to need your wool and a little piece of sellotape. And just sticking that wool onto the back of the piece of card. So where I've drawn is going to be the back. So before I start weaving, I'm just going to suggest that the story of the wise men, they followed a star to find Jesus. And there are things that maybe we might find help us to find Jesus in our lives. And this is a craft that you can do whilst talking or praying about things that help you to find Jesus. I know for me that listening to some Christian music and sharing songs with Junior Church has been something that's helped me to find Jesus this year. So while we think about that and pray, 
show you how to do it. So you're going to bring a piece of wool up through one of these little cuts like that, and then down the one that's opposite. And then you turn the card round a little bit and bring the wool up the next one and then down the next one and keep doing that all around the circle. And then when we get to the last one, so we've just gone down this hole here, what we're going to do is come up again opposite, so up at the top, and this time instead of taking the wool down to the one at the very bottom, sort of 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, we're going to come here to the 5 o'clock sort of point, just like that, and then round the back up to the next one along from here, and then down to the next one along, like that, and turn it round one at a time, up and down as we go. Each of our points will have three pieces of wool coming out of it all the way around the circle and we'll have made a star shape. So the final thing to do is our piece of wool, cut it off and stick it to the back to keep it all nice and tight. And there we are, we have a star for our wise men to follow and we've thought about how we might find Jesus in our lives. If you want to keep winding your wool around and make it a little bit more complicated, you can just keep going. And what happens is you end up with something that looks like this. So that I've just kept turning and joining to the next one, next one. And we've got six pieces of wool at each hole. I hope you've enjoyed the craft for today. Bye bye for now, everyone. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time that the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Hello, welcome to this first YouTube service of the new year. Not perhaps the new year start that we had hoped for, we find ourselves in a third lockdown. 
we're looking to the future, we want a glimpse of something better. And in a strange way, that glimpsing is a very appropriate theme because this is the time called Epiphany, where we focus on the coming of the wise men and the revealing, the glimpsing of Jesus by the wise men. In fact, Twelfth Night traditionally was the date the wise men were thought to arrive, 12 days after the birth of Jesus, and that's why we take our Christmas decorations down at that point. The wise men, the Magi, travel from the east to Judea, seeking a child born as king. When they reach Jerusalem, these powerful men go to the nation's leaders and ask, where is the child? Herod, king of Judea, is mentioned seven times in this quite short reading, and twice early on he's spoken of as king, but after that only as Herod. Now Matthew, who does very little by accident, will want to be saying something by that. What do you imagine it was? In Bethlehem, the wise men, the Gentiles, are transformed by an act of worship and surrender precious gifts. In stark contrast, Herod, dethroned by the arrival of Jesus and driven by jealousy, kills the ch children of Jesus' generation. There's a huge tension between light and dark, evil and good, blessing and evil. The star that guided the Magi to Jesus was visible to all, but not all took notice. Even the Magi were diverted from the star by the assumption that a king would be born in a royal palace, and they have to get back on track. So that's why they follow the star to Bethlehem, and there become the first to give up everything to follow Jesus. One worries if you read the story that they might then go back and tell Herod, as he asked, but a dream warns them to go home another way. Once in a carol service many years ago, I asked everyone to drive home by a different route, having preached on this text, to get the sense of travelling a new road. Some questions to reflect on and finish. Are there ways in which you have been an outsider, like the Magi, in your journey to faith? And what effect has that had? Have there been times on your journey of faith when you've made a mistake about the route? How did you get back on track? How did God help or guide you? Have there been times when you've had to take another road? And perhaps most significantly for us at the beginning of a new year in a third lockdown after the weeks and weeks of the pandemic, what road should we take? at the start of this new year. I wish you God's blessing as we share this new year together. Amen.
We share the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.